In this video we're going to look at um, numbers that have negative and fraction exponents. So simplifying the first one, 5 to the power of negative 4 is simply... Now one of the rules that I try to emphasize in the module is take the reciprocal, change the sign of the exponent. Okay, so that's the reciprocal, 1 over, and the negative 4 becomes positive. So that's the same as 1 on 625. That's what 5 to the power of 4 is equal to. The second question. Now, there's a few ways to do this one. But we can think of 3 is just 3. And a to the minus 1 is 1 on a to the 1 times by b to the 4 times by 1 over c to the power of 3. Okay, remember, if it's a negative exponent, go take the reciprocal, change the sign of the exponent. So this becomes 3b to the power of 4. a to the power of 1 is just simply a. c cubed. And that's it. That uh, can't be simplified anymore. Question 3. Now... You've got a choice here. I personally, uh, there's there's two ways to do this. Uh, as a rule of thumb, I would generally just raise everything inside the brackets to the exponent that's outside. This one could be done differently, but I'm still going to do it the way that I first suggested. So a squared to the power of minus 2 is a to the... 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. Okay, b. Now, remember that's b to the 1. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Over a to the 4 times negative 1, which is a to the negative 4. Over b to the 3 times negative 1, which is b to the negative 3. Now, we can cancel out our a to the minus 4 top and bottom because it's the same number top and bottom, so we'll cancel out. We'll, we'll go into each other once. So we're left with b to the negative 2 divided by b to the negative 3, which is b to the negative 3 subtract negative 3. I'll say that again. I think I said that wrong b to the negative 2, subtract because you're dividing, so you subtract exponents, so you subtract the bottom exponent, which is negative 3, which is the same as b to the negative 2 plus 3, which is b to the 1, which is b. Okay, moving on to the next slide, we've got uh, fraction exponents in this one. And... Although we're not really going to solve much, we're just going to really rewrite these another way. So a to the quarter has the same meaning as the fourth root of a. And 64 to the, five, uh, to the 5 sixths. Now, I'm going to make a suggestion here. Yes, you could do what I was about to do, which is write that as 64 to the power of 5 and we could take the 6th root of it and that would follow the rules that have been given but there is another way we know that there's something special about 64 64 is 2 to the power of 6 alright you can check that at some stage and that's raised to the power of 5 6 now, when you multiply 6 by 5, 6, the so 6 cancel out, and you're left with 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 5 is equal to 32. Okay, so if you see a number, and it's one of those powers of 2 or whatever, it may help solve the problem, a power of 2, power of 3, etc. Now, the next one, having, having said uh, just a minute ago, to multiply this out, 
we could actually do this one a different way. We could get rid of the negative sign here by taking the reciprocal okay, and change the sign of the exponent. So what I'm going to do is that becomes xy squared all squared over x cubed y to the power of one third positive one third because what I've done is taken the reciprocal of the fraction inside and I've changed the sign of the exponent. So expanding the inside part out now uh, we've got x, uh, x squared y to the power of 4 over x cubed y and that's in those brackets to the power of one third and if we keep expanding that out, we get, um, okay, x squared divided by x cubed is x to the minus 1. y to the 4 divided by y, or y to the 1, is y cubed. And that's all to the 1 third. So that can be written as, and I'll, I'm running out of space here very quickly. Um, That becomes x to the negative one times the third is negative one third times by three times the third is one, so that's y to the power of one, which is just y. Another way of writing that is y, and now the x to the minus means we could take the reciprocal and it would become then the cube root of x. That's just another way of writing it. Now, this question, um, we've got lots of negative exponents, but no fractional. So, just multiplying, I'd, I would disregard the negative exponents for the moment. I'd go 4 sevens 28, I'd just use those initial rules, rule 1 first p squared times p to the minus 1 is p to the 2 plus negative 1 times by the next uh, variable is q to the negative 3 plus 7. The reason we're adding these is because those variables are being multiplied. And r to the 2 plus 2. So this becomes 28 p to the... now. You can remember the rules here. A double sign is replaced with a negative, so 2 take 1 is 1. And then q to the negative 3 plus 7 is 4. And that's r to the power of 4 as well. So that's just 28 p q to the 4 r to the 4. Next question. We have... Um, a square root in here so that would become x squared y to the power of 4 to the power of a half so I've decided to write the square root as an exponent which is a half multiplied by 4 uh, now I'm going to just expand these brackets out this in this step so remember they'll be multiplied this is sort of like power to a power so 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Y, 7 times minus 1 is minus 7. OK, let's do the power to the power rule here. X to the 2 times a half is 1. So that's X to the 1. And Y to the 4 to the power of a half, 4 times a half is 2. Times by 4, X to the minus 4, Y to the minus 7. So the number part is 4 x to the 1 times x to the minus 4 is 1 plus for the fact that you're multiplying and negative 4 for the other exponent times by y squared add because you're multiplying these two but the other exponent is negative 7 so that's 4 x to the negative 3 y to the negative 
and just writing that over here. We don't like answers, generally speaking, with negative exponents in them. So writing it with a, with a, a positive exponent, this is 4 over x cubed y to the power of 5. Okay, so going on to the next question. Oh, this one's a fair bit trickier. So this is 5. Now, we've used the power to a power rule, g to the 4 to the 3 quarters. So that becomes g to the 4 times 3 quarters. So the 4s will cancel out and you're left with 3. h to the 8 times 3 quarters. 3 quarters of 8 is 6 times by. This is 4 to the negative 1. So that means that will become 1 over 4. Um, we can put the 1 there, but we don't need to g to the 4, h to the negative 3. We could either leave it on top as h to the negative 3, which I think I'll do actually, or it could have gone on the bottom as, or in the denominator as h to the 3. Okay, so looking at our number bits, we've got 5 times 1 over 4, so that's 5 something on 4 something. So g to the 3 times g to the 4 is g to the 7 h to the 6 times h to the negative 3 is 6 plus negative 3, or just 6 take 3, which is 3. So this would be best written as 5, g to the 7, h cubed, all over 4.